and welcome to a brand new edition of Gangsta Previews. My name is Brian Chevre, and I'm here to talk about three new movies that I watched this month. And let me start off with Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is directed by Tim Story, and it features not only the iconic chaotic duo of Tom and Jerry, but the talents of Chloe Grace Moretz, Michael Peña, Rob Delaney, Ken Young, and many others. Now, I've been a big fan of Tom and Jerry for so many years now. I watched the cartoons on Cartoon Network, uh, Boomerang, and other channels, and I was very excited for this movie. Gotta say I'm a little disappointed with this movie. Not only is the script terrible, but some of the the human elements just didn't work for me. Now, Chloe Grace Moretz, uh, Rob Delaney, and Patsy Ferran did uh, a, a good a good job with what they were given in this movie, but it just wasn't enough for me to truly enjoy this movie as a whole. Yes, the animated parts with Tom and Jerry just works for me, but there's really nothing new added in the fight between these two iconic uh, cartoon characters. You might as well just watch the old cartoon uh, uh, series, and you might just not miss anything else. Uh, It's just the same old thing. And, of course, uh, the score is horrible. Like, very horrible. Uh, and I was, I, it's not that I, I was expecting something to the likes of uh, Roger Rabbit or Space Jam, but at least something decent to watch. And I have to say it, Michael Pena, man. I really love Michael Pena, but I absolutely hated his role in this movie. He was so unlikable. His jokes were terrible. And it got so annoying to the point that I was nearly going to turn off the TV. So I was not going to spend the money to make uh, a movie trip if I knew this movie was going to be this disappointing. So I'm just going to give it a 2 out of 5. I'm very... Uh, you can get, you can If you guys go and watch it for the uh, cartoon element, go ahead and watch it. You're not going to miss anything with that. But don't expect uh, something good out of the humans. Uh, anyways, let's go to another movie that I watched, and that is uh, Flora and Ulysses on Disney+. Plus, Directed by Lena Khan, and it features the talents of Matilda Lawler, Alison Hannigan, Ben Schwartz, Danny Pudi, and Kate Mikuchi. Now, this is a sweet little movie, and I'm very, very happy that they included a lot of the uh, reboot DuckTales cast on this one, like Ben Schwartz and Danny Pudi. And I enjoyed this movie, truly. It's not... To the same level of production as uh, a WandaVision or a Mandalorian. But it's certainly not a Artemis Fowl, which is a terrible movie. Uh, this is uh, an enjoyable movie. Uh, I'm really surprised at Matilda's role in this movie. She was uh, wonderful in this film. And I'm going to give this movie a 3 out of 5. I really enjoyed it and it's available on Disney+. Plus. Now, And let's go to the last movie that I watched. And that is, of course... Nomadland. Nomadland is directed by Chloe Zhao, and it features the talents of Frances McDormand and people like Bob Wells, Linda May, and Swanky, who are real-life nomads, play themselves in this movie. This is the story of a 60-year-old woman who has lost everything and results to live the life of a nomad in her truck. Now, this movie, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I was hearing all kinds of buzz of this movie, and let me tell you, I'm very surprised. I really love the direction of Chloe Zhao in this movie. It is wonderful that she shines a light to the nomad community in this movie. Not only that, she shows to bring in people who are not actors, and they are natural with Frances McDormand. I really love uh, her perf- uh, Frances' performance in this movie. But of course, she is a as Academy Award winner for something. She was on the... Uh, Three B words outside Abbey, Missouri, which I en- truly enjoyed. And this one, it seems like another winner for her. I really like the directing. I really like the acting. I like the setting. And I learned about the Nomad community. So if you guys are curious ba- about this thing, you can watch this movie, wh- which is available on Hulu. And I definitely see Francis McDormand winning an Oscar, despite being a very heavy competition this year. Now, did you see any of this movie? Oh, wait, I forgot. This movie for me? Five out of five. Now we can go. Uh, did you guys see any of these movies? Did you like any of them? Let me know in the comment sections down below. We'll see you guys next time.